Olga Sagan, owner of Poroshki Poroshki Bakery. Olga, I hope I said that right. Uh, what was yes, the last straw for you? Poroshki, Poroshki. Okay. <laughs> All right. I was just I was reading up on your operation. And I know you have several stores, but uh, this one in a particularly dangerous area in downtown Seattle, Third and Pine, Fourth and Pine, I think it is. What was the last straw for you? Why did you move? I think the last straw was, um, you know, having um, a shooting just right outside of our windows at 1 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. Um, and at that point, I said, unfortunately, I can no longer uh, put my employees on the line or my customers on the line uh, of being hurt. I see. And, and so let me ask you, what would it take to make you willing to move your business back downtown to reopen this location if you can at this point? Um, I think it will take consistency um, and uh, longevity of, uh, you know, uh, correct policies being implemented uh, because we are in Seattle in, you know, humanitarian and uh, criminal crisis. So, um, I, unfortunately, I think it will take some time for things to recover. Now, let me ask you, have, who, what's driving this? Did your employees say that they didn't feel safe? Did your customers say that you, they didn't feel safe? Or was it simply what you saw with your own eyes outside your own windows of your own shop? I think it's a combination of things. Um, you know, employees, definitely myself, uh, seeing all the stuff, um, recognizing that this is just a not right thing to do. And we have been so quiet about it and kind of complacent about speaking out and saying that this is an emergency. You know, we have been living like that for the last two years and it's got to stop. And now I'm sure you have a relationship with some of the police who work in that neighborhood. Did you approach them? What do they say? And, and, and do they express any frustration towards, to you about the situation there? I think police does have a lot of frustration with the situation because the laws have been implemented that uh, police has hard time policing. Uh, but I think the police is just the end result of a whole ecosystem that needs to change. But they are definitely frustrated. Okay, well, Olga, Sa Olga Sagan, owner of Poroshki Poroshki Bakery. Sounds delicious. Hope to have you back and good luck to you. <laughs> Thank you. For Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.